I tell you, COVID has impacted a lot. I would not say that it has not affected, it has affected. Alhamdulillah, during the COVID thing, uh, when we are locked down, we provided 80,000 meals to NHS staff, poor disabled people, homeless people, as well as elderly people. I was supported by the community with their donations and their help and many of my youngsters, they helped me in this one. Right? And we had very good feedback from the NHS staff, them, uh, that they were happy that what we did. And COVID has affected a lot. We were shut down for about three, three and a half months. But Alhamdulillah, when people heard about us, they returned back their gratitude by coming to the restaurant. Today, as we have seen these customers, they are the customers who have seen what we had done and the quality of food we provided during the COVID thing. We did not compromise because we were giving free food to anybody. In this special documentary, we endeavor to see how the Eat Out to Help Out scheme is being implemented. We will spend the day behind the scenes at one of East London's most popular restaurants, Saffron Kitchen. In this episode, we get to meet <laughs> Head Chef Nitesh as he organizes his day with his team and follow Idris as he works the front of house welcoming the hungry guests. Join the queue and I'll take your name down, yeah? And then there's Farhan, the managing director whose bark is bigger than his bite. It's 12 p.m. when we arrive at the restaurant and before we enter, we discover a problem. Without, without the internet, he's gonna take no money. He needs it for this PDQ machine, which is your credit card machine, which takes all the um, funds. The internet is down. And yes, you guessed it, everything needs the internet. Normally, we are busy, but not this busy. We was busy, but this one, the queue, is just because of the COVID and the eat out to help out. This COVID turn around all the days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, as our weekends, yeah, yeah. and uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, as a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Okay. Yes. If somebody comes, we use this buzzer, give them a, write the details, how many people, and we get them. As soon as it's re ready, table ready, we do the buzzer, and he buzz, and customer walks in. It's one hour before doors open, and we join Chef Mitesh as he does his rounds. The covers. Uh... I think we used to feed about two, three hundred people on a weekend. And I think now we're feeding up to 600. We've got a booking of 550 people already this evening. I'm sure with the walk-ins, we're going to do at least 650 people. And that's between 5 to 11. It's not normal to have such sort of booking. I think it's, it's mainly because of this uh, eat-out scheme that the government is running. I think that's uh, the reason why we're getting so much of bookings. It is actually quite... Uh, stressful you know because you have to make sure the butcher has got enough meat and you know there's so many other things as well so many other aspects from ordering to stock count and you have to make sure that you order enough uh, for the day you don't over order or you don't at the same time you don't under order as well you have to make sure uh, you know the marinations are there like for the lamb chops we keep about 24 hours marination so you have to make sure the lamb chops are ordered 24 hours before you know you just can't get the lamb chops, marinate them and just cook and send it out. Yeah, it takes a good 24 hours at least for, uh, for it to, you know, tenderize and get the flavors in it. How much salia do you have? Salia or hai? Or not. Or finished? Finish. Ah, oh, come, let's do tea. Yeah. Ah. Let's, let's keep an eye on our tea. I'll get the spoon for this, so we can mix it well. Yeah. So this is our tandoori chai, the one uh, that we serve after the meal uh, in Saffron Garden. Yeah, we've got a unique recipe for this. A lot of cardamom, ginger. This has to brew here for at least two hours to get the right flavor and color. Let's check what's happening in there. You, know, you have to look after the production, you have to look after the stock control, cooking bit. There's so much. You, know, you have to be at all the places at all the time. 
Saffron Gardens is the brainchild of Farhan as the rear car park was kitted out with a large marquee and a new barbecue menu was devised. It's here, I've got the wings ready there as well. Yeah. And we work a bit already in the fridge. Uh, yeah, I think we're ready to start. 30 minutes to doors opening and the queues have now reached the main road. Nearly time for opening for garden, right? Yes, it certainly is. Uh, so tell us how it works and the process of it. So basically if they've got a booking, um, depending on how many people, as you can see, we'll sit them down. Um, it's a set menu for the barbecue. It's a massive, massive menu. Um, we've had groups of seven or eight guys who have come down and they've not been able to finish what's on there. If you do get a group of guys or a group of women that actually do finish and if they want more, we'll never say no. <laughs> you want to come through? I'll show yeah. you to your table, yeah? Are people happy to come out and, and experience this kind of thing after months and months of wait? I think they're more than happy to come out. Um, for us personally, I think if it was open, if the offer was there for five days, it'd be a lot, lot better for us because if everybody's coming out for three days and we can't always accommodate everybody, so some people are leaving disappointed. Right, this is your table? Yeah? Thanks. As you can see, it's only five o'clock, and you can just see how busy we are already, so I think it's going to be a very busy day today. Right, so we, we aim to please, and I think the general consensus is that people are happy to now to sort of come out and live a sort of a normal life once again. Yeah. That's, that's the bottom line. I think you can tell by people's expressions and the feedback that they're giving you that they are sort of they're frustrated, well, they have been very frustrated, but now they're sort of getting back to a bit of normality. Now, let's meet Farhan, son of the owner, the Prince of Saffron. At the moment, there's no tables available. You're just going to have to come and wait by. It's the next three days, it's just too busy. Try to come during the day, in the next three days, in uh, Saffron Kitchen. Saffron Street, there's just no space at the moment. I don't want to mislead you. Yeah. At 37, this eligible bachelor has a fair grip on the way he manages the bookings and guests. But when he steps into the kitchen, you better step up your game. I don't like the elderly having to wait for a table, but we have to keep it fair for all people. That's the thing. What sort of pressure does this have on your kitchen? The kitchen pressure is, you've got to think we're doing three, four, five times the amount of covers in a day than we normally would. That means every section is overworked. That means the equipment, if there's a breakdown in any equipment, you're almost done. You put your hands up and say you can't complete the job. And the other thing is, is what, what, what concerns us the most is the quality drop in. We, don't, we can't afford the quality to drop for even one table or one plate. And the problem is, is when you're producing at that rate, the attention span can waver, so I don't know. It's 5 p.m. and the doors are open, so let the games begin. I think it's going to be double busier than this, yeah, it's going to be crazy. Another half an hour and yeah, you'll, you'll see the queues will be, yeah, people will start going mad because now I think the first set, they have just started with their desserts. So once it's their time to leave and then there'll be another bookings, you know, so many people coming around here. Yeah. It's gonna be it's gonna get real busy. Next door at Saffron Kitchen, Farhan arrives. Ilesh, what tables you picking up? That's right. And then we're going to pick up 14 and table 8. But 14 and table 8, yo, 14 and table 8 last. Do the other two first. It's only 5 past 5. Yo, I need 10 masala chips. Yeah, all right, no problem. Thank you very much for the update and thank you very much for your call. So I'll tell the engineer, don't bother doing anything else. There's a problem outside the building and they're addressing it.
When was it, when has it been out from since? Because we haven't had internet since 10 a uh, 10 p.m. last night, or about 8 p.m. 8:30 p.m. last night. Is that right? Half past seven last night, we've had a problem. God, I've turned the world upside down trying to work out this problem, and there it was all along. All right, no problem. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers, bye. Waste of time. There's one guy in my office. Call him up, please. Take 301, let's go. This is the next ticket we do. Some tickets are starters only, and they want their main course 15 minutes later. Other tickets, they want all the food together. So you've got to bring all the department's food together on the tray at the same time. Kids meals always go first, 715, let's go. Yo, yo, yo. Take that to 722 as well. 302, you can go. Boss, can you drop this to 714 as well? You can remember that. Three things you gotta remember. 704. Seven what? 704. Yeah? 705. Yeah? So, after the break, huh? we pay a visit to the one and only Idris. You're gonna remember that? 